lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know how to ignite me Call me CEO, I've been running shit right, see Okay, so we're going to talk about Juliana's new but not so new man. And I will warn you, this video is going to be a long one, so buckle in. As you probably know from my recent TikToks, Juliana had confessed at the start of the year that she'd been having an affair on bread for some years now and had come clean to him about it because she didn't want anyone holding it over her head and having control over her, which kind of sounded like people were starting to find out and she knew it wouldn't be long until someone would tell bread. When Juliana told followers about her affair, she didn't actually admit at first that it was an affair. She simply told followers that she did something in her relationship and she had now told Brett about it. In fact, when she was explaining it originally, she said that what she did wasn't that bad and if she was to tell them, they would be like, really, that's it? Now, let's be honest, that's probably what her followers would say because she only keeps the ones around that support every choice she makes, whether it be a poor one or not. These people are definitely not her friends because if they were, they wouldn't allow her to self-destruct like she has over the past two years. But in saying that, I can guarantee you if any of these women's men were to do the same thing to them, they wouldn't think it was nothing. In fact, who remembers when Juliana's friend Marissa confessed to her that Brett had been texting her arch nemesis behind her back? According to Juliana, Marissa and herself had gone out on a lunch date and after a couple of drinks, Marissa confessed to Juliana that Brett hadn't exactly been faithful like she always thought. While Juliana didn't tell her followers directly that Brett had physically cheated, she did say that he had allegedly been messaging this nemesis behind her back and their messages back and forth were beyond friendly and obviously not innocent. And Juliana obviously believed it was true because she took to Instagram Live to declare that Brett was walking around with a black eye after she confronted him. Meanwhile, Juliana's over here leading a whole double life with this guy named Loudy. Now, honestly, I thought I'd imagine this, but after some posts were made on the page identifying her side piece, Loudy, another follower actually mentioned this in the TWT comment section, and that was that at one point, Juliana claimed that her side piece was a doctor. Now, maybe she had more than one side piece. Who actually knows at this point? But Loudy is absolutely not the respectable doctor she claimed her side piece to be. While his rap sheet shows he's extremely experienced in petty theft and purse snatching, we'd hardly call that a career. And I guess Juliana confirmed this after she went live on Instagram to tell her followers that they ended things. Well, actually, he ended things. Juliana said Loudy had put her in a group chat with himself and one of his baby mamas. In the chat, he basically says he's done with her and that he chooses to be with his baby mama. During this live, she was crying and saying what he did to her, she wouldn't do to her worst enemy. And then went on to repeatedly talk about how his baby mama was ugly and how much more attractive she was than the baby mama and how he isn't even good looking either. Here's just some of the snippets where she talks about how much better she is than him. I know. And the thing is, he doesn't even fucking look good. He's not even fucking cute. And the thing is, this man is not even good looking. If you look at his baby mamas and then you look at me, you would be like, Juliana, what in the fuck? I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm so far out of his league. It doesn't even make sense. And I'm like, bitch, what the fuck? Do you see your baby mamas? Like, are, are we looking at two different things? How the fuck did you let a man that looked like that play you? He's got five baby mamas. Yeah. Because you just put, I'm in a group chat with this bitch looking the way she looks and you're saying this? That is so embarrassing. Because what would have happened was if this would have went any farther and I would have started posting this man, y'all literally would have clowned me and been like, what are you doing? I did not put his face in my videos I cut his face out and cropped it out because I did not want y'all clowning me. It's just like when you look at me and then you look at him, you would be like, Julia's like, you should be, you should be dating like football players and he looks like the janitor. That's what she would always say. Like Julia and Betty have hated this man for forever. Whatever you say, old lady, like you're in your fucking thirties. And not just that, you say in the chat with her right there that she's what you want. That hurt my pride. And you have this crusty, dusty scrub in your bed that is going to that crusty, dusty bitch right after he leaves. Oh my God. This is the same man that said he has a hard time getting it up for her. That he's not attracted. Meanwhile, I just look at you 
I just look at you and that shit's up there. So who's losing here? If you looked at my Facebook and you saw the way that I look, did you not question what the f She's just jealous of me. She literally is not good looking at all. If you saw her and you saw me, you'd be like, Juliana said how confused she was because Loudy was at her house earlier and he was being super quiet, so she asked him to leave. Allegedly, after he left, he started messaging her and telling her how he wanted to be with her and be better for her. So she was confused why later he dumped her for the baby mama. And this man was with me last night, leaves my bed, goes to her house, and is there all night because she has another man over. We're in a group chat today. And he's basically telling me, he's like, I told you that I want her, that I love her. And I'm like, this is news to me because just last night when he left my house, he sent me a paragraph this long talking about, I'm so sorry I've been different with you. Like, I'm just trying to figure out my stuff so I can be better for you and just selling f***ing dreams. But today in a group chat with this woman, you say you love her and that you want her. Which is like fine, but like how fucking humiliating. This was obviously a last ditch attempt to get his baby mama back and prove he didn't want anyone else but her. But looks like she wasn't interested in taking him back. So he not long after went running back to Juliana. Sounds like this dude can't be alone either. And all I can say is it must have been very humbling for Juliana to take him back because what woman who claims to dog walk men would ever be caught dead taking a man back knowing you were his backup option? In all honesty, it makes her look a little bit desperate. During the live, she also says she was so devastated that she even called Brett to console her. Now, let's not forget, Brett is still wearing an ankle monitor after Juliana told police she feared for her life, so he couldn't come around to her house. But he did offer to meet her at the park. She said she jumped on live to tell the story and to try and resist the urge to go running back into his arms. Because I know, like... Bread's not good for me either, but like all that I want is him right now. Like I called him and I was just crying and I told him everything and he's like, do you want to meet somewhere? And it's like, how can you be there for me <laughs> after I did this to you? She also confessed that Loudy encouraged her to be mean to Bread. That one night while Bread was staying over to spend time with the kids, that Loudy demanded she make Bread leave the home, which she said she did and that she was really mean to him about it. I made Brett leave my house. We were supposed to be doing like a whole co-parenting thing and like it wasn't on a romantic level at all. We sleep in separate rooms, but like Brett wanted to stay here around the kids and he told me to kick him out and I did and I was so mean to him. After Juliana told all, she then said to her followers that she went live to hold herself accountable so that she wouldn't go back to him. But then just one week later, during another Instagram live, she said that even after having Loudy blocked on everything, he still managed to come crawling back in her DMs. She told followers that she didn't want to be back with him, but she may take him back because she needs it for the boy girl content on OF. Of course, her good little minion followers told her that she needed him for videos that maybe she should take him back. It's a shame she doesn't listen to her best friends Julia and Betty because those girls actually love and care for her and Juliana herself said that Julia hates Loudy and even went as far as saying he isn't a baller and he's the equivalent to the janitor. Ouch. I knew it, like in my gut. My best friends hate him. They hate him. They've cried before begging me to cut shit off of him. And after everything with Brett consoling Juliana when the man she left him for completely screws her over, she then allows Loudy to disrespect Brett by posting a picture of Bash, who is Juliana and Brett's son, and writing the caption, Happy birthday, baby number four, which is basically Loudy trying to claim Bash to be his son and not Brett's, which Brett has expressed concerns that this is actually the case during an argument when Juliana was live with her followers watching. Juliana also stated several times how upset she is that her friends have found these amazing caring men that treat them so well and she keeps ending up with these toxic men. This is definitely a case of the grass is always greener where you water it. All I can say is good on Loudy's baby mama for having more pride than to take him back. It always feels good to give your old toys to the less fortunate.